the Vapor XKG, one of the most overpowered ARs in all of Black Ops 4. Actually, I think that this one and the KN57 are definitely the most overpowered out of every single one. Now, guys, I did make a Vapor XKG class the other day using a suppressor, and this is another one. This is another take on the OP class, and this one is just insane. This one melts people super fast. What is up guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video where I'm going to be giving you guys the OP class for the Vapor XKG. Now this class is definitely one you need to use because this could drop the Maddox, this could drop SMGs up close, this could drop anything. Now I know the map that we're playing on Artifact is actually like one of the worst maps in all of Black Ops 4. It actually looks disgusting, it plays disgusting, it's just a bad map in general. But I ended up getting a pretty sick gameplay so I'm happy to use this one. Now guys, actually leave a like on this video if you guys think artifact is actually really bad i think it's horrible so uh, i'm gonna leave a like on this video myself i know it's one of my own and i shouldn't like it but i'm doing it myself man so go ahead leave a like if you guys think this is awful and before we get into the op class i just want to say thank you guys for all the support recently it's been really insane you guys are absolutely awesome with that leaving all the comments and everything you guys are absolutely amazing for that and if you guys could leave a comment down below for this video letting me know your best class setup for the kn57 that would be awesome as well and guys i'm kind of looking for a non-suppressed KN57 class. I've given you guys an OP class for the KN57 before being suppressed, but I want you guys to make a really weird one. Like, make it as weird as you possibly can, but still overpowered at the same time. And I'll be using one of you guys, giving whoever makes the best one a shout out. So make sure to go leave those comments down below as well. And uh, let's get straight into it, guys. So I did change a few little things right away, and that is going into the perks. And for the perks, perk one, what we're gonna use is Scavenger. Now, Scavenger is really damn good. I love this because if you run out of ammo, especially using a gun like this where you're planning on going on high streaks, Scavenger is going to help you out a lot. It's going to, you can replenish ammo and all that kind of stuff. The next one, this is where I took your tips, guys. I used to always like to use lightweight and stuff like that, but you guys told me to put on Gung Ho and you guys convinced me that it was absolutely much better to use. So I went ahead, I put on Gung Ho for this class and I used it like crazy. Now this class is inspired by a lot of you guys who left comments on my videos telling me some like sick vapor classes and stuff like that so you guys actually inspired this class i mixed a bunch of them together and this is what i came up with and for the last one perk three there is no way i'm changing that from what i usually use and that is dead silence you guys know me dead silence is going to be on every single class no matter which call of duty i play now going on to the actual gear we're going to use stim shot or comsec device the reason i say you guys should use either or the stim shot i mean it's pretty cool to use but you're not rushing too much within this game so stim shot doesn't really have a justification there I would say Stim Shot's good if you're using like the Sog or the Maddox and you're rushing like crazy. But with the Vapor, you're kind of playing a little more laid back. So you don't have to worry about like healing every two seconds. So in that case, I would actually say go ahead and throw on the actual Comsec device. This way you could actually get your score streaks a lot lower and you won't have to worry about dying like 50 points off and stuff. Unless you're like me and you have horrible luck, you still do. Which in this gameplay, thank God, I actually ended up getting all my score streaks. But it felt like I was going to die a few times a little before I got them all. Now going on to the actual attachments for this class here is what i like the most so the last one i decided to throw on suppressor and stuff in the last vapor op class setup but this one i changed up the attachments quite a bit and i love the way it came out you guys really helped me out on this one and i have to say thanks so the first one is going to be elo some people told me to throw on elo some people told me not to use a sight whatsoever i tried playing this class without a sight on and i just felt like it was a little bit awkward so i had to go ahead and throw on elo 100 percent for this one right here and it just plays a lot better and it feels like the gun is a lot smoother it feels like you have more control with elo sight on this gun so i really recommend throwing that on going to another attachment guys we're gonna go ahead and put on long barrel so that you guys can actually draw people at a distance which you can see i've done i think once or twice within this gameplay alone i killed people out longer than medium range which was pretty long range and it drops them very fast quite surprisingly to be honest i didn't think it would actually drop them that fast but it does so it definitely does help it out a lot going on to another attachment we're gonna put on stock one now the reason we're only gonna keep stock one and not stock two is because we want to throw on another attachment and we want space for all three of those perks
works, like I said earlier, Scavenger, Gung Ho, and Dead Silence, we want to run all of those together. Now, Stock 1 is really good, in my opinion, on this gun. You do move quite fast. You don't move as fast as you would with Stock 2, and it's very noticeable. Like, if you put Stock 2 on, and you get used to it, and then you take it off, you're going to feel very slow with Stock 1. But the thing is, with Stock 1, you move at a very decent pace. It's not too slow, and it's not too fast. So your accuracy will be really good as well, and you should be a little bit harder to hit considering you're moving left to right while the enemies are trying to shoot at you and going down to the last attachment that you guys need to put on this gun this one is like a hundred percent you gotta put this attachment on and that is going to be rapid fire now the reason rapid fire is really good on this gun is it's because it has a kind of slow fire rate so if you put rapid fire on that's where it really gives it that boost up close especially if you're going against the sog or if you're going against the maddox or anything like that the rapid fire really does help out a lot and you should be winning those gunfights if you're shooting at the chest or head now this class right here doesn't have any high caliber or anything like that but this weapon does offer it. but again i'm gonna tell you guys do not use high caliber on this weapon it's only good for headshots and in my opinion headshots yeah they do happen quite frequently in this game but you should be aiming at the chest at all times because the head is just a harder target to hit so i decided not to throw on high caliber and i went for stock one instead and i have to say it was a much better switch i was using high caliber instead of stock one for a little bit and it just plays awkwardly again like you don't get enough headshots to justify using high caliber or anything like that now if they did have a high caliber 2 option then i'd say yeah go ahead and use it guys but they don't so don't even touch that now like i said if you guys could leave a like on this video supporting how bad artifact is as a map i don't know what treyarch did with the dlc in this game but artifact is just it's really bad like casino looks nice it doesn't play that great but it looks nice so i'm gonna give it that but artifact it just doesn't look nice it doesn't play like, like, like nice at all it plays pretty bad and it just it just has a very weird vibe to it I I don't know what it is like i'm sure if it was a smaller map it would be kind of cooler but dude even the winter area just looks awkward it just doesn't fit in the map so leave a like if you guys feel the same as i do on that and again guys if you could leave your comments down below letting me know the most overpowered class you have for the kn57 it could be suppressed or non-suppressed i'll be quite honest with you guys i'm looking for more non-suppressed ak57 classes i use a suppressed one all the time and i've given you guys that op class if you guys could make a weird kn57 class let me know down in the comments below that would be awesome and again guys thank you all for the support it's been amazing if you guys could subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications that would be pretty awesome as well especially if you guys aren't subscribed at all go ahead and make that red button gray all right guys thank you for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one peace